Hola, ¿qué tal? Hello, hello everyone. How is it going everything? Well, first of all, thanks for joining to another streaming. In the previous streaming, I usually share a poll on Twitter to choose what is the topic to talk about in the streaming. But recently, we have released the latest Amarin Forms 4.7 uh, pre-release with uh, a nice kind of stuff, um, very different, but um, yeah, very, very cool stuff, like, for example, the multi-binding support or, for example, uh, be able to use uh, a placeholder in the match if you don't um if, if the match cannot cannot load for example uh, i really love this new way to um, uh, create uh, new grid rows and grid columns uh, definitions uh, let's take a look to that very very quickly i don't know if we have here the sample but definitely i can i can show a sample later but uh, yeah um, there are a lot of nice stuff in this version. Um, more nice cool will arrive in upcoming versions, but in these specific versions also we released the shape support. With the shape support, um, we offer a drawing API to draw from basic shapes like, I don't know, a rectangle or an ellipse or more complex um, shapes with a combination of uh, a big amount of um, uh, corner lines and um, combining different different drawing options. We also, uh, with this new stuff, uh, have a new property in the visual element that is clip, that allow us to clip a view. Uh, usually will be very useful with the match we will see many demos um, in the next minutes, but uh, well, uh, this is also supported by any view. So you can, uh, for example, use um, grid. And if you want to give a specific shape, like, I don't know, uh, some corner radius and some curved lines, you can definitely do that today using this um, shapes new uh, API. So, yeah, uh, today I have not shared a poll uh, to choose the topic. We are going to talk about definitely about uh, shapes, but um, if you have any suggestion or you want to talk or discuss about something specific in the um, next streamings, please share in the chat. And talking about the chat, um, yeah, please use the chat to any feedback, comment, suggestion, or if we are, I don't know, taking a look to the use of uh, clip views and you want to see some specific sample or you have any question about that, it's a good moment to, to do questions because um, I really, really love the, the feedback in this streaming and uh, it will be nice to, to be helpful and help you with some, some dupes or question. So let's start it. Hello, everyone. Um, Angelo, uh, hello, hello from Brazil. Beautiful country. So let's start uh, from, uh, um, uh, from a new project. So I'm going to use Open, in this case, Visual Studio for Mac. And I'm going to create a new uh, project, a new Xamarin Forms project, uh, I have plans to share this project later, so I will follow a common name that I use sometimes to create some samples, like uh, that will be, for example, shape, Shapes Playground, and let's start playing with uh, Shapes. Okay, I'm creating a project uh, using Xamarin Forms for iOS and Android, but uh, first point related with shapes, it uh, supported in iOS, Android, but also in UDLP for Windows, in macOS and WPF. So yeah, it's supported in a um, big number of uh, platforms. 
all the properties that we are going to see today with Android and iOS mainly supported in the rest of the platform. So if you are interested, for example, in do something for Windows, it's interesting to know that uh, you will be able to do it too. And then um, the other interesting question related with shapes is um, during the process of creating the, the shape stuff, and as you know, we usually share everything from initial stage. So I have read some comments uh, in the PRs and in the specs about uh, it's using Skiashar or not. Well, in this case, it's not using Skiashar. Uh, we are using just directly native APIs to draw everything in every platform. Uh, Skiashar, in fact, is uh, an amazing option uh, to do this stuff and probably it's, it's, it's a good idea, but uh, we don't want to include uh, the size of the Skiashar library um, directly coupled to the summary form score. So in this case, it's not using Skiashar, it's directly using as uh, always native APIs. So let's create a new project. Uh, we have taken a look to the um, uh, release, to the release notes, and we know that this stuff is available in the latest summary forms uh, 4.7 uh, pre-release. So I'm going to just update the project. And here we go. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to create, for example, a views folder and let's create a um, main view. The main view will be use um, a list of options to navigate to the samples of every shape, to navigate to the rectangle shape, ellipse shape and other stuff. Uh, so we will not going to use this default main page created by the project template. So I'm going to use a navigation page and I'm going to navigate to the main view. Cool. Let's clean a little bit um, the main space. And then I'm going to start creating, for example, an ellipse uh, gallery that will be just a content page where we are going to play drawing different kinds of uh, ellipse uh, circles and other stuff. Now I need from the main page just um, a title that will be shapes playground. Please, if you want to increase the, the, the font size of um, I usually use the um, like them uh, for streamings. I think that you will read the code better. But if you want, I don't know, use the dark then or increase the font or whatever, just write uh, your comment in the chat and I will I will try to change quickly. So I'm going to create a, um, a scroll view and inside a stack layout that uh, will stack. Uh, a list of uh, buttons. The first one uh, will be the rectangle gallery. And so this is the rectangle button. And now I'm going to create the click event. And in the click event, I'm going to use navigate to the um, ellipse gallery. Cool. So we have mostly everything needed to start working with shapes. This is, um, in fact, we can just start deploying the project. Let's go. Uh, I will use sometimes Android, sometimes iOS to use to... Well, the rendering will be the same and the, the, the shapes will be the same, but used to 
combine different options. Okay, I'm deploying on Android. I have the Android emulator here. Okay, go, go. Okay, we have a safe playground, the main page, click the rectangle and navigate to the... Um, oh, I created the ellipse gallery and the rectangle button. This is not fine. Let me create very quickly the um, rectangle gallery. Of course, we will have also a ellipse gallery, of course. So yeah, now we have a view for the uh, rectangle gallery and in the main view, main view, I can use um, create another button, button, button. Uh, that will be the ellipse uh, gallery. Okay, X name will be the ellipse button and on click we are going to use navigate to the ellipse We are going to use navigate to the ellipse gallery. So this is the rectangle gallery. This is the ellipse one and now let's deploy again the sample. Okay, here we go. So if I navigate, for example, to the, I don't know, let's start with the ellipse one. Uh, let me just modify with hot reload the page, setting here the title, that will be the ellipse gallery. Ellipse gallery. And now let's start creating some uh, nice stuff. So. I don't know how much um, ellipses we are going to create, so I will use a scroll view and a stack layout, and then to create an ellipse, we just use the, you know, the new uh, view called ellipse. And now we are going to have a crash. Uh, it's not crashing directly because we are using hot reload, but if we de redeploy this, we are going to get a crash and this is simple is because as you notice we have released all this new stuff in a pre-release in fact it's the pre-release 4 and to use um, uh, the new shape stuff we need to boom this is the crash and to use the shape stuff we need to use the shapes experimental flag so let's go to the native uh, android project and in the main activity i'm going to use set the flag and i'm going to no just clean the namespace and i'm going to do exactly the same in the app delegate where i'm going to use initialize the shapes functionality cool now we are ready so let's deploy again let's create an ellipse and let's start playing with um, basic stuff cool so we are not seeing nothing in fact we have the ellipse but uh, to define an ellipse we need to define the size to define the size you probably know how to do that because we are going to use the existing um, properties at request and with request and now we have an ellipse but we are not seeing anything and that's because we need to set uh, colors uh, in this case a color for the fill or for the border if we want to fill uh, the ellipse we need to set um, just the field property. So I'm going to use use a resource dictionary to create a, a style for all the ellipses because I want everything aligned to the beginning, start, 
So ellipse setter uh, property horizontal options start. And yeah, now we have the ellipse with the uh, 50 of 8 and 150 of, of width. Of course, if we change these values, we can see different ellipses. I'm going to give a padding here to maintain a little bit uh, the layout. And let's create also some labels because we are going to see everything now here with light code. But if anyone will uh, just download the, the sample later, will be nice to have some just basic reference. So this is just a very, very basic ellipse. Let's create more, more stuff. Now, let's create another ellipse. And the second interesting option is, of course, you can create a circle. Uh, will be just the same, but of course the width and date must be the same. So this is, um, let's change a little bit the color. This is a circle. And of course also there are much more properties. Let's continue with uh, the borders because uh, to fill uh, the, the background color, we have the fill uh, property. You can use also the background color property, but uh, what's happening with the, with the border? So let's use in stroke with the ellipse. And now I'm going to just copy the first one. If I save, we see the same result with a, a hot reload. And now using the stroke property, we can use I don't know, uh, use a yellow color and I don't know if you can see it because the color is in fact horrible, but um, let's use black for example. And we have a, a black border around uh, the lips. That's, that's fine, but we have many possibilities with the stroke. There are several properties um, uh, to use uh, have a dotted border or other kind of uh, options. So if I write stroke, you will have intelligence. Uh, you can use the dash off the dash offset uh, to uh, set the offset between uh, the um, sorry between um, sorry uh, to to set the. That's offset and the that's uh, array. Okay, so you can use that to use um, set uh, how you will set the, the, the border if you want to give some space between every every point. In this case, I'm you setting one and one. So I write um, um, one point, leave other point with uh, empty space and continue just filling the entry border of the ellipse. So yeah, this is also possible. And um, what's more? Uh, I think that, um, well, uh, probably uh, the stroke thickness used to set uh, how much uh, do you how, how do you want the border? In this case, of course, higher numbers will give you higher uh, border thickness. So yeah, there are many properties to use, customize everything. And I'm going to use copy all the entry page, move to the rectangle page. Let's set a title. Uh, I'm going to use set title. It's equal to rectangle. And if I navigate back and navigate to the rectangle gallery, yeah, I know we have uh, ellipses because we use copy the uh, ellipses page content, but uh, let's create exactly the same now with rectangle. To create rectangles, of course, you use the rectangle type and saving. We have 
yeah, I know, the same, but in this case, use um, creating rectangles. All the shapes share a common set of properties, uh, for example, to fill the background color, to set the, the border color with stroke, to set the border uh, uh, thickness uh, or border width with the stroke thickness. You can use all these same properties in all the shapes um, uh, views, but then there are um, every shape uh, have some specific properties. So for example, let me use replace this by rectangle, rectangle and rectangle. And this is a square, right? And now let me use copy the last sample and we are going to use some specific properties uh, to uh, manage how much radius we want in the horizontal axis and in the uh, vertical uh, axis. So we have the radius X and radius A to set this effect. What we are getting with this kind of effect? Well, yeah, you can see the difference between uh, this and the last rectangle. This is using radius and radius A options with the rectangle. Okay, cool. So we have seen the possibilities with the ellipses and rectangles and let's continue with basic shapes. Well, uh, my idea for today is start seeing all the basic stuff uh, with the ellipses, rectangle, lines, polylines and all this stuff. Then put the focus a little bit with path because it's probably the complex shape, but uh, it's also the option that keep more possibilities. And then we are going to jump to clip use uh, some complex uh, shapes and um, yeah, so samples, some, some complex samples. And then I want to talk about a little bit about where we can use uh, shapes and in what case these shapes new API will solve problems that before was uh, much more complex or impossible without uh, custom renders and other stuff. Hey, hi, hello, hello. A lot of people from Brazil. So uh, thank you for joining everyone. You have a beautiful community from Brazil. And yeah, I really love uh, as much as you are doing, sharing good looking uh, UI samples and samples and blocks with the community. So thanks so much to all the community. Really, really love your work. And okay, let's continue with uh, our basic stuff. I'm going to use create uh, new views, new content page to have a line gallery, to have a um, polyline, polyline gallery, and to have a polygon gallery, polygon gallery, and of course we will need also a path gallery, and will be for later, but we need more options to clip views and other stuff. So let me jump in the um, shapes API. So the basic shapes that we have include are ellipse, rectangle. We have seen these two ones. Then we can draw lines. Uh, I, I know this is this sounds basic, but it's very useful because Probably many of you have need a line sometimes used to divide one section for another one or also in, inside data templates in collection view, for example, to use organize the, 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 the Y. So now you can just create lines in a most simple way. And also you can create polylines and that uh, gets more, more interesting. We will see how we can create polylines later. 
and later polygon. So if you don't know about polygon, polylines, let me talk a little bit about uh, this stuff. And, uh, and this is all the uh, common properties that uh, we have across all the shapes. So you can set the fill, stroke, stroke thinness, all the stuff that we have mentioned before. This is available in all the shapes. And then, uh, well, the ellipse don't need anything special. The only thing that you need to set is the size and uh, with the a request and with request and the fill color or the, the, the border color, the stroke color, if you want. For the rectangle, there are two special properties to manage um, the radius. And then uh, to define a line, we have uh, four properties, but at the end is used to define from one point to other point. And in the case of polylines, you only need to define a collection of points that at the end we are going to just join uh, from the first point to the second one and just continuing following the different points to, to draw um, a polyline. And the polygon is very close to the polyline, but the last point will be uh, will join with the with the first one to just close the the shape, you know. So let's create some stuff. And uh, now we have views to everything. I'm going to use clean the namespace uh, very quickly. I want to avoid um, unnecessary lines when you load the sample, just to maintain the focus in the important stuff. So let me start launching again uh, the debugging, uh, the, the application, and I'm going to use um, create more, more samples. Cool. I forget to create buttons for all this stuff. So I'm going to use copy paste all the buttons and I'm going to use rename. This will be, for example, the line button that will navigate to the line gallery. This will be the polyline. So if you have any question about any topic or if you, uh, I don't know, uh, miss something from the current stuff, for example, I miss with the rectangle have a property for whatever you just mentioned. And I would love to, to hear all, all your feedback. So this will be the polygon button and we need another one just to uh, the path, the path button. Cool. Okay, let's move to the code behind and let's create the handlers to navigate to all this page. So we have the line button that will navigate to the line gallery. Yeah, more people from Brazil. Hello, hello everyone. And then go to the polyline, polyline. This will be the polygon. I know this is boring stuff, but uh, I need this basic stuff to navigate between all the different sections. And the last one will be the path one. And with that, we have the necessary to continue working during some minutes. Okay, loading and let's navigate to the line. Okay, cool. For the line, I'm going to create the same scroll viewer, a stack layout with um, short paving and then I'm going to create some resource, a resource dictionary. I'm going to just copy the same style, but using the line. So let's uh, set the title and refresh all the view with total load. 
perfect now uh, let's start creating some some lines so um, I have some more complex samples but for that I think that um, yeah, let's create some basic stuff so to create the line we need to set a size for example 100 for 100 and then we need to set a color for example red and now we don't have nothing because we have not set what is the origin point and the end point but if we set that x1 is uh, from 0 0 to um, 60 uh, well 100 and e2 will be 50 yeah we have the, the line uh, so if we set the background color uh, to light gray we can see a rectangle of um, 100 for 100 we start in the point 00, zero and go to the point uh, x 100 and uh, a is 50 so the middle of the rectangle so in this way you can create uh, lines uh, this is a basic line basic line and of course uh, if you remember in the previous samples we can uh, use stroke options with the line so we can uh, modify let's set this to orange for example and this uh, will be zero so it will be um, uh, 100 better uh, and uh, 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 let's play with the stroke stroke thickness so you can set something higher yeah let's play with the stroke um, stroke array so we can have a dotted line and then we have the stroke line cap and stroke uh, line join is how we want the end of the line and the union of the line we can use different values from uh, an enumeration so we can use a square we can have rounded um, um, options and of course they will, this will be different depending on uh, the values and options that we are using but at the end uh, it's just draw lines uh, you have different options to manage uh, colors uh, to manage uh, positions start point and point and uh, all the stroke properties but uh, every in summary is uh, a new option to use draw lines so let's pass to the polyline option and before that let me read a quick question in the chat from angelo that uh, ask uh, hello javier there's some change to support microsoft fluent ui on the same way to android material uh, yes uh, so uh, if uh, you don't know about about that there are uh, libraries in ios and android to have um, this stuff uh, neatly and we can create uh, wrappers in C-Sharp to use that from, from .NET, from C-Sharp code, and then we will need to create renderers. I know that there are an interesting, an interesting project in the community, but uh, yeah, this is an option that uh, we had uh, talked sometimes internally and could be a possibility. So in these uh, options, what I'm interested in to know is uh, you want um, to use it in all the platforms, I guess, with the same rendering. So if you use, for example, a, a button from Fluent UI, you want exactly the same button, the same Fluent UI button in Android, iOS and Windows and all. 
uh, all the supported platforms, right? Write you, your feedback in the chat, I will, I will love to read it. Yeah, there are a very good question about lines. So is there a way to draw the line with horizontal options full expanded without pacing a width? Yes. So if I go back to the API definition, we have here uh, an option that is aspect, right? The aspect uh, is, let me go again to the sample. The aspect is a property that you will, you will, uh, you will feel familiar with it because it's very close to the aspect that you can find in the image, and you can set, you know, uh, if you want to fill, reform, and all this stuff, you can just set the fill option or uniform to fill, and you set the line um, with a with a parent, for example, in a grid and you set uh, to uh, the option to fill the entry uh, parent, in this case, the grid, without specify as a specific width or eight. So yeah, it's, it's absolutely possible. And while we was talking about that, uh, yeah, we are going to jump to the polyline. So let me move quickly to the polyline while I read uh, quick comment from Angelo. Yes, I want to use it on all the platforms. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, definitely I, I like to match the uh, UI definition and the pattern from Fluent UI. And I think that they um, uh, looks very, very great in Android and iOS too. So yeah, thanks for your feedback. Hello, hello from Brazil. Hello, Bruno. More people from Brazil. And um, let's continue. So I'm going to jump to the um, polyline, right? So in this case, the polyline will be similar to other samples. Probably I'm going to use copy some stuff to avoid to create everything from scratch from this sample probably. Uh, yes mainly the lines, the, the, the points. So let me copy this and let's talk about this now. Okay, so let me align everything well. Good. And now if I refresh, this is good. So Let's talk about polyline. Uh, so this is a polyline uh, and we are just creating points. This is the first point. This is the other point, other point, other point. So at the end, as you can see there, are, we have several points. And what we are doing internally is just uh, join the points. So we are going just uh, drawing the first point, a line between the first and the second point, a line between the second and the third point. And at the end, we are creating this uh, uh, polyline uh, that, of course, as we have seen before, we can use uh, straw thickness and, uh, I don't know, other properties to modify the polyline, you know, and create uh, different effects around the, the polyline. And the other stuff interesting is um, things related with the line join. For example, when we join two lines, how we want to render the, the join. If we want a wrong corner like here, or if we want um, a bevel or other options, it's, it's perfectly possible. I will draw the Brazilian flag using these features. <laughs> yeah, it's a good case. And it's a good case. And uh, let me explain why, because all this stuff, like for example, all these polylines, and we, we are going to see more complex uh, shapes uh, later. But uh, if you create stuff like, I don't know, uh, this rectangle, and you create multiple rectangles, for example, are views, right? Are at the end, someone informs views, and you can use stuff like, for example, animations. 
So yeah, you can create something like um, a flag or something more complex and use animate uh, the different stuff. Uh, it's perfectly possible. Let me jump now to the polygon. Uh, let's continue seeing basic stuff for drawing. I would love to know what's your feedback about what uh, we have seen so far. If you feel that this is useful or not, or cover case that uh, was not um, possible or was, or you need uh, SkiaShare or you need um, a custom render in some case, if, if I will love to know if this will uh, help you to solve this, this kind of, of stuff. And let's continue now with the um, uh, polygon. Let me move to the polygon gallery. Is this one? It's empty. And I'm going to just go to do the same like before. I'm going to just copy some basic stuff to avoid to bore you just creating points. That uh, probably is not funny for you. Uh, and let me align it a little bit, refresh, and here we are. So this is a very, very, very basic polygon, just three points. And as you know, with three points, joining three points, we create a triangle. And we are creating this triangle, and the second one is used using the days um, uh, options uh, to create a dotted line around the triangle. And then let me talk a little bit about uh, our interesting property. And it's the fill rule property. The fill rule property is a property with two values, uh, event hood or non zero. And the main difference between this point is what will be the behavior in the space between the uh, join of, um, um, of, the, of the polygons. So if you want it to be empty, if you want to fill it, uh, so you can notice here the, the main difference. Uh, so yeah, uh, you can create as you, you see different polygons. The API is very close to the um, polyline, but the main difference is that the, while in the polyline, the last point is not joined with the first one in the polygon, this happened. So we close the polygon and yeah, create the, the, the new shape. So this is polygons is uh, probably between the basic um, shapes is one of the most interesting ones. But uh, let's jump to the most complex and with more possibilities option that is the path. So move to the Path gallery. Let's talk a little bit about path. I'm going to use set the title and create again a scroll view with a stack panel and set a padding. Okay. And I'm going to use copy some basic uh, path. Uh, for example, this is enough. Let's move here and let me uh, talk a little bit about path. There are several ways to create path. Uh, so you can create a path uh, in a very, very, very simple way. Uh, the easy way is to create the data property. With the data property, you can use a string. The string is used um, a type converter that we convert the string to all the figures and uh, um, collection of uh, segments, figures and options necessary to, to create the path. But uh, yeah, it's a very simple way and it's probably the most common and used way because it's very, very easy to share. And there are several tools that uh, allow you to create um, uh, path in, in this way, for example, uh, Inkscape uh, allow you to create, uh, to draw and export and create path in this way. You can just copy and paste this in this stuff and you, you will see the result directly here. So this is the simplest way. Uh, well, the, the L means 
al uh, br uh, bright align and well uh, there are different um, parameters and options that uh, will define uh, what are we drawing but it's not the only way you can use for example creating data a uh, path geometry that is a collection of figures and here you can use different figures or uh, for example segments so in this case we want the figure close and we are rating two segments and the third one is is, bright, is drawing because we are closing the path but uh, we have several ways to create segments we can create a arc segment a visier segment a path segment that will allow you to create mostly anything a polyline bezier a polyline a quadratic bezier a, well uh, there are a crazy amount of, of options to draw things and let me see a cubic bezier that allow you to create this very nice stuff with curves that um, well uh, in this case is using the data property and now uh, this is just drawing with data and a geometry group creating uh, four ellipses using the ellipse geometry so this is one other other and the last one so yeah it's simple to create this, this stuff then uh, let me talk about uh, more complex shapes this one is just using an ellipse geometry so this is an ellipse other other another there are four ellipses the only thing special that we have to choose is um, we can we can choose how we fill you know uh, the gap between the ellipses uh, by default we are leaving the empty space that you are seeing here 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 and here but uh, we can fill definitely this um, this space too uh, let me and as you can see everything is working with hot reload so this is very 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 nice now we are creating five lines to just join these lines and probably you have done this in paper sometimes uh, but uh, well it's simple it's a set of lines to draw this star and then complex path this is a very very complex path with this is a beautiful here and this is a uh, uh, the windows logo uh, if i scroll you can see that the last one is a crazy crazy very big string that is drawing everything so as i said you can use um different tools for example uh i don't know if you know let me jump to windows i don't know if you know metro studio from syncfusion well it's a set of a crazy amount of uh, icons and all these icons, uh, for example, I don't know, this one, you can use edit, uh, well, you can just cho choose the color, uh, choose um, the, the size and all this stuff. You can export to create a PNG image, for example, but there are uh, an interesting option that is, um, oh, this is extremely slow, why? And uh, you can use an option that is use see the code and take a look to that. This code is use a path. So you can copy the path, go to Shamarin phone, paste and use uh, this path. Uh, all the stuff here already with transformation is also available and we are going to see it now. But let me do, for example, this with um, a most beautiful uh, shape. I don't know if you want something. Let me search, for example, to search uh, by the Android logo. I think the Android robot is, um, well, is, is complex to draw. Probably the path is uh, very big. Let me see the code. And here we are, it's a crazy, crazy um, path. You can copy the path, the entry shamel or the data, go to Shamarin Forms, create a path, set the data. This is huge. And then, of course, you need to set uh, a fill being the android uh, robot maybe 
I don't know, the green color is fine. Um, I'm going to set a size. Let's see what we get here. And voila, we have here the um, Android um, robot, uh, the Android uh, logo here. So you can do that with different, you know, different, <coughs> different tools like Inkscape or this Metro Studio and just copy uh, path and paste directly. As you can see, also works with Hotel Load. And this is a very, very interesting stuff. Let me take a little bit of waiter while you can ask whatever you want. Okay, let's continue. So we have seen so far all the basic um, stuff with, with uh, shapes. You can draw uh, from very basic shapes like lines or rectangles to very complex uh, uh, shapes like, for example, this Android logo that we had uh, created at the end. And there are more interesting stuff to see. So let me launch uh, a sample. This is the sample that uh, you will find in the Shaman Inform samples repo about shapes. And there are a crazy amount of uh, samples, very, very uh, interesting. But uh, I want to share uh, some samples. For example, uh, this is the aspect. Uh, so if you, if you specify a, a, a specific size, you will use this specific size. But if you want to fill the parent, like here, you will fill the parent and you have different options. Then we have the trans... Uh, sorry, not this one. Um, I think that is the... This one. So, in every... As we have seen before here in Windows, in the Metro Studio application is using some transformations. So you can draw something like, for example, the Windows logo, but then you can apply transformations to the, the, to the logo, like, for example, scale X, scale E, skew X and E, translate, and yeah, you can use a crazy amount of uh, transformation to use, uh, not only draw the, the, the shape, but also use transform as you need. If you need to rotate to skew a little bit the, the logo, of course, is, is possible, you know? And this is very easy to do because, let me go to the code, what you need to do is in, uh, in the path, you have the render transform property. And you can just set here directly a transformation, or if you want to apply multiple transformation, you can use a transforms group. And then you have rotate transform, scale transform, skew transform, and translate transform with all the properties that you are seeing in, in the screen. So yeah, you can you can modify the position, the, the rotation, and everything related with the um, uh, shape just using transformations. Then let me share small but very interesting samples. Let's take a look to this baby elephant demo. So probably <clears throat> you are seeing an elephant and you can imagine that this is an image, but uh, no, in fact, it's a path, uh, a complex path, but uh, yeah, Take a look at what you can draw. You can draw very, very uh, complex uh, shapes. And let me show you another interesting demo from here. Uh, well, this man with a gun is also another interesting case because uh, it's from an SVG. So you can just open the SVG content copy the, the, the data, paste the data in a path and draw the SPG directly using um, 
uh, using, uh, in this case, a, a shape. And then you can, with composition of these shapes, you can draw from interesting but basic things, like for example, the, the Shamakon, uh, the Shamarin logo. And if you are interested in that, here's Shamagon. Well, it's just a path, you know. And you can also draw more complex stuff, like, well, we have seen these starts before, but um, you can draw uh, a monkey, <laughs> a funny monkey using shapes, or let me search the clip art man demo. And let me show you the code of this, because this is very interesting. Here we are using polygons. So the, the age of the uh, man, the hand, the, the legs, the, 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 the shoes, everything that you are seeing is not an image. It's, it's just um, a composition of a small pipe drawing, in this case using a polygon. So yeah, you can create really, really crazy stuff using shapes. And what more? Well, let me go back again to our demo and let's create a new content page that will be the clip gallery. Clip gallery, okay. As you can imagine, we are going to use clip views here and I'm going to include a new button in the main page that will be the clip button. And now this will be the clip gallery. We are going to create um, 700. <laughs> hey, hi, Matthew. Welcome, welcome. Well, uh, yeah, I know that you come here to see what I'm doing here, but you know that I really, really love Skia Sharp and nothing uh, will kill uh, Skia Sharp, never. So, yeah, uh, this is another way to use draw stuff uh, in a easy way, but uh, we all love Skia Sharp. So, of course. <laughs> so, let me create 700 of the clip and we are going to navigate to the clip uh, gallery. Cool. So to clip things, let me get some nice stuff to clip. For example, let's use a beautiful image. Uh, and I can imagine that we can use, for example, a Maui beautiful image. I don't know what you think about that, but I really love this, this image. So let me, for example, take this one. I'm going to save. I'm going to open, rename it um, Maui. And I'm going to use, include this image in Android uh, resource and on iOS too. So here, and here cool so let's add um, the system files that will be the maui match same on android and now we are ready to see what this the stuff that I talked about uh, clip views. So let me ask something to everyone. How many of you have created a custom renderer to create a circular image? Or, well, have used the, the amazing plugin, for example, the plugin from James Montemagno to, to render circular image? Probably many of you. Uh, I also have done that uh, in the past because it was a easy way to create circular image, right? But uh, let's see now how easy will be do the same. So 
I'm going to set the title of our clip gallery. I'm going to create a scroll view, a stack layout, and I will set the painting and create the first image that will be, as you know, with the source of Maui. I don't remember, uh, was a PNG? No. Okay. So with that, we have the very beautiful uh, image uh, from Maui. And now you want a circular image, right? So all you need to do is the following. You create your image. Again, you set the source. Will be Maui again. And we have the same image, right? But then now, we are using an image, but again, this is available in visual element. So you can clip all the views. You can use now an ellipse geometry to clip the view using an ellipse. That of course could be also a circle with a line, with a rectangle, or the most uh, important of all is the path geometry because with the path geometry, you can use uh, use whatever that you want. You can use, for example, the Android logo that we have rendered before with the path and have a beautiful uh, image with the uh, Android logo shape and with the beautiful Maui beach uh, in the background. So let's start with the simplest one and probably to do this quickly. I'm going to just copy this. Um, okay. I'm going to copy this. Just will change the source and let's explain what we achieve. Okay. Let me save. We are not seeing nothing because the image source is different. Let me set the image here and here and here. Okay, so yeah, you want a beautiful uh, circle image. Uh, well, uh, you can set the radius, the center point and have an image. For example, if we have an image of uh, 100 for 100, that is small, but uh, enough. Uh, 200 is better. And we can set now the center in the middle, right? That will be something like this. And yeah, you can set also the radius that uh, this is uh, perfectly fine. So yeah, you can you can just play with all this stuff to clip uh, image or to um, use use. Um, well, this is very small, but uh, you see what uh, I mean, right? You can use clip image using in this case the circle. Uh, sorry, the ellipse geometry. Of course, you can combine multiple uh, ellipses to create something more complex or uh, you can use the path uh, geometry in this case we are using three points to create a triangle but you can have um, any any kind of uh, of uh, path for example we can take the the hexagon from shamarin that we have somewhere here let me remember it's here so this is a path we can copy this path, uh, create a path geometry and paste here the same string and we will have an image with the um, Shamagon. So very, very easy, right? To create an um, image with a specific uh, shape. But remember, this is available for any view. So if I continue, uh, for example, here creating a grid, let me set a background color, uh, red, that uh, you will see very well. Well, a stack layout better. 
and we can have here different content right like uh, test one two and three for example okay cool let me refresh we have here this stuff and I can use use the same clip property so in the stack layout we have also the clip property use the clip and well this is not well defined but uh, we can just play a little bit with that the radius is eager and well you know what i mean we can have uh, in this case um stack layout with a specific shape you know and all that for what is useful uh, so I don't know if many of you are imagining what can you do with all this stuff but uh, yeah in fact it, it covers many many possibilities that uh, until now was not possible without for example Skia Shard or create a custom render and to talk about that I have some uh, designs from Dribble uh, here so for example um, this background with this specific shape uh, of course we can use an entry match but ima imagine that uh, we want to give a smooth animation to this soldier and uh, we can define the background just using shapes and then the soldier will be an, an image over the shape so we can just animate the, the image and will be uh, fine we can draw these lines using lines we can draw all this area using a path for example and the same happens in other uh, uis that until now was more complex to do like for example if we want this um this can be an image and this uh, could with this this um uh, curves can be possible against using a path and we have seen before how to draw the um, summary forms samagon so draw something like that you can imagine how we can do that it's not complex it's easy to do so at the end this ui before was not easy or a little bit complex but now it's something that is more possible in a easy way the same here well nothing to talk about uh, this ui but all this and shamagons with uh, people you can just take an image good image with a shamagon and uh, you can use set uh, rem remember we can set the, the border color uh, the stroke uh, so you can set the border color uh, this area with the number it's also possible with another uh, shape so well now you can use draw uh, basic stuff for example uh, this icon with the check is also possible uh, with the um, with a path uh, again you can for example go to uh, metro studio search for the check and it's for example this one if no it's, it's not this one it's very close and you can see the code and imagine yeah it's a path so we can just cop copy the, the path code and create the, the, the check with, uh, you know, with uh, a path. Of course, uh, I don't mean that now everything is done with a path or with a shape or wherever. It's another possibility. Of course, you can still continue using image for, for use that or fonts. Is, uh, in this case, for example, it's a very, very good option. But now you have this possibility to use uh, draw things, uh, complex things or clip views, like for example, image with a complex shape. And as Matthew say, uh, all these people is, uh, are uh, use hexagons. Uh, we are hexagons everywhere. So yeah, uh, we have not done uh, something like that here. But let me say that, of course, you can create something like resource dictionary path with like scale, whatever, you know. And we can define here the data and reuse this uh, path 
any times uh, as much as we need. So yeah, you can create resource with shapes too, as uh, you can do it with uh, other resource like uh, colors, for example. So we have seen this uh, so far, and now let me show you a quick demo. Is uh, this demo um, has been done by David, by David Ortiz now. And it's a very, very good um, example of uh, what can you do today with uh, shapes that before was not possible or was definitely much more complex without um, custom renderers, Kia, Sharp, etc. So let's see the code. But um, it's very simple. So the first image, yeah, it's a circular image. So it's not, um, you know, it's not uh, created using any external plugin or other stuff. It's just using the clip option that we have seen before. Then all this shape is use a path. It's this path, you know, where inside set uh, a list of elements in this case is creating a, a login view so yeah the typical username and password and then let's talk about the, the latest button because this button at the end is just the circle is an ellipse of course it's very very easy to do it in this way and the icon is a path it's a path with the data ne uh, necessary to draw the, the arrow so yeah you can start thinking about uh, all the things that you can create um, using shapes. Uh, I hope that you find this functionality interesting. Uh, so this is just SPG path, right? Yeah, uh, this is SPG path. And in fact, with all this stuff, I have done some tests using your code, Matthew, from Skia to use um, you know, uh, read the content of uh, the SVG and detect if we need to draw a line, a rectangle or draw using uh, a specific color and all this stuff. And I did a quick test and yeah, it's perfectly possible to use all this stuff, uh, all these shapes API to keep in the future support to SVG. We have other important PR and uh, that we will need to complete the support of SPGs and is the um, brushes. And in other words, um, gradients, you know? So we have this brushes PR and this uh, brushes PR is plain to summary forms 4.8. And yeah, we are in uh, 4.7, so will be the uh, upcoming version and I don't know if I have some screenshots here yeah here uh, the interesting part is that uh, we will have um, a background property supporting a brush and will be everywhere so you can use um, um, brushes gradients everywhere you can use uh, brushes in, in the nav bar, you can use brushes in a tab bar, you can use brushes in a collection view, in a button, everywhere. And of course, we want to give brushes support to shapes. When we merge brushes, we want to also merge this PR. At the moment, it's a draft because I'm waiting to complete uh, brushes uh, functionality. But uh, remember the properties feel and um, stroke, right, that today are colors. So you can set colors to fill the background color of the shape or to set the, the, the color of the border, right? But uh, in the future, the idea is to allow you to use um, a brush. So you want to use a linear gradient brush for the, gra uh, for the to fill uh, the rectangle, in this case, for example, or to set the corner, yeah? It's perfect you can you can do that so this is stuff that will uh, come in in upcoming versions uh, some in forms 4.8 and this stuff with shapes will complete a very interesting piece of uh, drawing stuff to allow to to create um, uh, 
uh, very very interesting stuff. So where is interesting all this stuff? Yeah, for some designs, definitely, like for example this or this one. But also it's interesting to create uh, controls like until now was hard to create or I don't know. For example, um, chart. What about chart? So at the end, using charts, uh, creating charts with the shapes API is, is very simple. And if you take a look, to, for example, to the ULPF charts that you can find in the toolkit, is using a lot of the shape stuff from, from ULPF. Uh, the axes are two lines, uh, the bar are using rectangles, the line are using, of course, a polyline. And yeah, it's, it's an interesting way to create new, new controls that uh, until now was complex to do without use, for example, Skia chart, for example. Uh, I probably, many of you know the micro charts um, um, plugin that is a very, very interesting API just using Skia chart to, to, to draw uh, charts. And um, also it's interesting to create um, controls or create a composition of other controls. So. Let me show you another example. And then let's take a look to the code. Let me use launch it before. I'm using Android. So let me have review the Android emulator and reading some comments. So is there uh, some visual tool to draw all these points on the path control? Yes. Uh, so you can use, for example, um, Inkscape as uh, it RD recommended, or Blend, for example, Microsoft Blend, uh, allow you to, to, to draw also um, stuff with the shapes. And then if you don't want to draw, uh, well, I think that, for example, this option from Sync Fusion is very interesting because you can find a crazy amount of um, uh, icons. Uh, now I don't know what is the state. I think that this is not rendering for some reason. Wow, I found a bug. <laughs> yeah, because the icons are here. Okay, let me close it and open it again. Yeah, so you have different categories and for example, in shapes, you have mainly all the basic shapes. Uh, for example, yeah, lines, uh, triangles and all the stuff uh, basic with shapes. But also, uh, what about a chat application? So if you want to, to I don't know, use something like, um, well, there are better options than this one, but, <laughs> I don't know, if you want to use this shape to, to draw the background of the, um, uh, um, you know, of the conversation, in the conversation use different uh, conversation bubbles, like this one, you can use, go here, copy the path, paste the path, use as background of, uh, of uh, the um, conversation, and voila, you, you will render this shape to, to uh, using your chat application and there are a crazy amount of shapes in in this application so yeah if you want to use draw some specific shapes probably you will find all the basic shapes here i mean triangles uh, ellipses conversation bubbles and uh yeah many many icons uh, it's possible to okay uh, going back to the sample, uh, let me talk about create um, controls, right? Because let me move to the shaman here. So I'm going to the checkbox. And yeah, what's, what's a checkbox on Android? Because at the end is... Um, something like this, right? Let me show you. 
is a rectangle with a path. When we click, we show the path that is the checked uh, glib, you know, that uh, honestly I take from, from this tool, from the Metro Studio. But uh, if you want to create a, I don't know, a custom uh, check post, uh, what, you, what is your platform, Android or iOS, you can create a check post use with the Android um, with the Android uh, icon and other one with the iOS one. And at the end, what is this? Well, it's an ellipse with a path and uh, we use show the background uh, if we uh, click or not. We can create again with Visual State Manager different Visual States to animate, to, to uh, I don't know. Remember that um, in this case, the content, the uh, Android icon is a view. So you can animate the view, you can do whatever you want with, with the view. So I think that uh, shape stuff is very interesting to cover uh, scenarios that was not possible before with, without uh, use some plugins or Skia Sharp. And that's great. Uh, also, it's very interesting to create new kind of controls what, uh, that uh, was not possible before. For example, uh, chart is a good sample. And also, if you want to create um, some specific controls, uh, I mean composite controls, create control from Shamanin form, so no custom renderer, you can just draw a, a crazy amount of controls, like for example, this check post. I mean, this looks like the native one. In fact, this is the native one, but this is just drawing the entry control using the, the new drawing API, the new shapes API. So, well, uh, this is another approach and uh, other option that I think that is very interesting because um, at the end, mini controls are a small composition of uh, shapes. The slider is just a line with uh, an ellipse, with a, a circle. Uh, so if you, if you want to create some basic controls in this way, it's, it's perfectly possible with uh, the shapes API. And I think that uh, until here, we have seen all the basic stuff. We have seen also, remember that you also have the transformations API to scale, rotate, skew, etc. You can clip, uh, you can clip not only match, you can clip any view. So I think that is also open uh, many possibilities. And then I think that uh, with a composition of um, this drawing API, and you can create um, new controls that was not possible or was harder to create in before um, before have this new API. And about the future in summary forms um, 4.8, we will have brushes support. And yeah, this will be great because we'll increase the possibilities. Um, just not only uh, setting a um, gradient in the background color, but also if we want to draw a line or a polyline or whatever with um, a, a gradient will be possible too, or a corner. So yeah, many possibilities. I'm excited to see how many of you that uh, sometimes create very good looking Y samples will, will do with uh, this stuff. I'm very excited with these APIs. There are a crazy, crazy amount of new possibilities and new APIs. Uh, probably you, you have seen something like that when we have seen the path with all the, you know, the segments uh, that we, we, we can use to, to, you know, to create um, and draw different stuff. But uh, I think that the basic stuff like clippy match with a circle, etc., will be easy to do from, from the beginning. And I really, really will love to, to know your feedback and uh, what uh, will you do with this API. So time for questions. I don't know if anyone have some questions, please. What do you think about the API? We have seen mostly everything. So if you come from ULP or WPF, uh, you notice that the API is mostly the same. Yeah, that's uh, that's right. You can copy paste code from uh, mostly from from ULPF, for example. Uh, I hope that this helps you too. Uh, but I, I will really love to know your your 
um, your feedback. Uh, internally, um, we have talked about other possibilities and give a easy way to create some specific stuff, mainly with corners and other, other stuff. But um, yeah, we'd love to, to know your feedback. Questions? No questions? Okay, cool. For see you everyone on next week. Uh, for next week, uh, probably I will do the um, typical poll on, on Twitter, uh, giving you two or three options uh, to choose. Uh, there are other APIs that probably we can talk about on next week, but uh, I'm also excited to create new designs. Um, so maybe I will share also the option to create some good looking UI with live code and of course with, with all your help. So thanks everybody for joining today and uh, we'll see you again on next week. Have a good uh, day. See you.